guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Krista and I am so excited that you are here. Today's video is a little bit of a chatty tutorial where I use makeup I have not used in a long time. I have some old favorites that I'm not so sure about anymore and some products that I use that I'm like, yes, I love this. So I'm really glad that I put away my regulars and took out some of the stuff that was stuck in my drawer. So if you'd like to see how I get this look and kind of hang out and chat, then just keep watching. All right guys, so we are gonna jump in to our face first and then I'll do eyes. So to start, as I said, I am kind of going to do like a little bit of a chatty, a little bit of a tutorial, and I am using all products that I have not used in a while. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone, and I cleaned my little beauty area, so I was able to kind of pull some stuff out of my drawer that I haven't used in a while. So the first thing that I'm going to go in for is the Smashbox photo finish priming water and it's the citrix flavored one and I just I put this in my drawer one time cleaning and I haven't taken it out so I'm gonna spritz it ah now I know why I didn't like this the bottle So violent! Ugh. I got a bad sprayer on this. Okay. Let's see if I can find something to put that in. Because that was a very violent spray. I don't know if you guys can tell. Uh, and then I'm going to go into a little bit of this Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Smoothing Primer. And I haven't used this in a hot minute. I used to use this a lot. So let's see how it goes. So I just thought I would do a quick little update while I'm doing my makeup today. I'm going to go for just like a bronzy look. As I said, I'm trying to use some products I haven't used in a while. So I just kind of wanted to update. I have been um, having a very long and um, scary month. It's been scary in more ways than one. My dad got admitted into the hospital on January 5th, I think it was. And the next day he had to have emergency surgery on his colon and have that removed. And uh, he almost died. So it's been a long road since, but He's doing a lot better and we think he's probably going to be able to get out of the hospital if not this week, next week, so that's good. It's just been a long, long road and lots of trips to the hospital and luckily the hospital is really close to my mom's house, so it's not like it's hard to get there, but it's still been, it's been a lot and it's been busy and I've been trying to keep up on my videos and my work and the house and everything else and it's been a lot. So um, I'm glad that, you know, we're kind of out of the woodwork and they're talking about letting him go home. So that's always a good sign. And then I'm just going to go in with this Dr. Brandt Luminizing Primer. I wanted to have a little bit of a glow. I'm going to be using a matte foundation today, so I thought I would use a little bit more of a glowy primer. I am using two primers today. Don't judge me. The other thing that happened this month that I talked about was that we got hit by the SWAT car. So that's been interesting. At one point, the insurance company got all mixed up and thought that my car was going to be a total loss, which is annoying. My car is 10 years old, but it only has 70,000 miles on it. I don't have a car payment. It's all paid off. It was my mom's car before. And it's a Toyota Corolla so it has like a lot of life left in it and I was just so upset I did not want to have a car payment right now and it's just not good timing and it ended up being a mistake they ended up fixing my car so so it, I don't know it ended up being a mix-up and I, they fixed my car I have my car back so I don't know 
It, that was a hot mess too. I was so upset about that. I'm gonna go in with foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade Warm Nude. Pop it on the back of my hand, per usual. Pop it on my face. Finally shaved my face today, so my makeup should be nice and smooth. I think I mentioned in another video, but Ian and I are celebrating our second wedding anniversary next month. I'm super excited. We have a snowboarding trip planned to Big Bear, California, where they have a really nice slope so I'm excited I'm not like big on snowboarding but I like it I've been a couple times and I'm not like awful at it so that's exciting and I also booked a room with a hot tub or like a whirlpool I guess really is more of what it is so that's exciting too I'm gonna have a nice trip away can't wait. As I've said, it's just been a lot. So I can't wait to get away with my husband. For concealer, I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape. I have not used this in so long. I'm in the shade Light Sand. I don't think we're really gonna do much for Valentine's Day since our anniversary is so close. Uh, we're celebrating a little bit early. We're leaving like the 7th or something like that of February and our anniversary is on the 18th, but it just was cheaper that weekend to go because the 18th is President's Day. So with the weekend, it was just more, but yeah. So I don't think we're gonna do much else for our anniversary. This trip is not super cheap. I mean, it's not like it's super expensive, but it's not cheap, so we're probably not going to do much else for our anniversary, but or Valentine's Day. I'll probably make him take me out to dinner somewhere, but that's probably about it. What do you guys do for Valentine's Day? Do your husband surprise you? I hate, I hate surprises. I think I've said that before, but I like hate surprises. Poor Ian. I feel bad sometimes that I hate the surprises, but I really do. Like, I am not a surprise person. I don't like not knowing where we're going, what we're doing. I don't like it. So, usually doesn't really surprise me. Maybe some flowers or something is usually a surprise, but he doesn't like. Do extravagant surprises anymore because I just like can't function. <laughs> Cannot function. I'm gonna set all of this with the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I have not used this in so long. This powder does kind of give me a little bit of a white cast, which is why I don't use it as often, but I'm in a little bit more fair right now, so I think it'll look okay. And I'm just going to bake with that. It's gonna get like a white cast kind of on my face, but it's fine, it's fine. This foundation's okay too. Like I, I can still like see my skin, which I really don't mind. It's not like full coverage or anything. And I'm like not digging that shape tape for some reason. Maybe it's old or whatever, but I love my Too Faced so much more than the shape tape. Like I'm like kind of a mess under here, but that's fine. We're gonna move on. I'm going to bronze my skin with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I have not used this since I got my Tarte Palette. It looks like this. Mine's a little broken. No BD. So we're gonna go in with this shade to bronze and this shade to contour. And then I'm gonna go in with these two shades under my eyes. Have you guys checked out that video I did on the Ule Hendrickson Dark Spot Correcting Toner? The Glow 2-0. It's actually doing pretty well as far as views go. I'm pretty impressed by it. So if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. Get those views up. I also did a Dragon Fire inspired makeup look. 
that I just loved. So if you haven't checked that out, should just be like two videos down. I would love for you to check that out. It turned out so good. For blush, I'm gonna go ahead in with the Kylie Cosmetics Blush in Virginity. I used to use this blush all the time. I have not used it. Look at this old packaging. She doesn't even use this packaging anymore. But like, look how much of this I've used. You see that little dent? Oh my gosh. I loved this blush, so we're gonna... Do a little, uh, little of that. Hmm. Such a nice peachy color. I really love a good blush. I think it makes such a difference. For highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in Sarcophagus. And I just have not used this in months, probably. I used it for a while when I got it, but then I cleaned and put it in my drawer and it never came out again. Really need to get some more Jeffree Star products. I feel like his, the stuff that I've tried is so good, but I need more. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'll zoom you in so we can do the eyes. So for the eyes, I'm gonna be using this crown palette. I'm not really sure what the name of it is, but it looks like this. I got this in a BoxyCharm box and I just have not used it in a really long time. And this shade here is like really calling my name. It's kind of like a peachy shimmery shade. I'm digging it. So we are going to do something with that. The first thing I'm gonna do is go in with this shade here in a Morphe M532. So my mom is trying to move into more of like a retirement community. Especially with like all of this and my dad being in the hospital. He's been in there a month. So uh, they're looking for like a one story. So I've been helping her a lot with like getting garbage out and cleaning everything out. She's having a painter come in. So tomorrow we're going to get like all the outside stuff done because they're having their pool deck painted. So there's a lot of work to be done there. I'm just glad to have my car back, if I'm being honest. I had a rental car for three weeks. And it was a nice car. Like, I'm not really complaining, but, you know, you have a rental and it's just not yours. You feel weird about it. You know, you don't want to crash it. Especially, like, just crashing a car. You don't want to crash your rental car. But it was nice. It had, like, um, you know, like I said, my car's 10 years old, so it doesn't... It has a 6 CD changer and a sunroof, but it doesn't have like, you know, Bluetooth and a backup cam and that kind of stuff. It's nice to have that stuff for a minute. Then with the Morphe M513, I'm going to go in with this shade here and put that in my crease. Been watching a lot of Game of Thrones lately. Like a lot of Game of Thrones. Basically watched the whole series in a month. I mean, I like do things while I watch. I'm not just like sitting there watching. I edit and all that stuff. Well, I've already seen it. So I just kind of like, you know, do my thing while it's on. It's so good. If you guys haven't watched Game of Thrones, you should watch it. And like even, I don't really like violent stuff, but the storyline is so good. That's why I think it's nice something to watch like with your man, cause kind of violent. I mean, it's kind of complicated, but at least it's like, you know, got some action to it too. They have like some of the best freaking war scenes and fight scenes. It's so good. I'm just taking that first brush. And just buffing that second shade out a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with a little smaller tapered brush and I'm going to take this dark shade right here. And I'm just gonna focus that like right on the outer corner. Bring it in a little. My mom and I were gonna go see Mary Poppins yesterday. I went to visit my dad in the hospital. And we totally lame out. 
like an hour before the movie started, we kind of looked at each other and we were like, do you want to just like watch some Game of Thrones? It was fun, we had a good time. It's nice to spend some time with my mom. She needs help. She has a big house to take care of by herself and I don't mind helping her. Hey, why don't you just not like that? Not like that, blend. Dark shade a little. And then I'm gonna take my MAC 242 brush in this shade here. And I am gonna spray it with a little Fix Plus first. Ooh, that's pretty. Like that. A little fallout. It actually fades really nicely into those colors too. I'm just gonna kind of go in quickly, blend the edges, that dark shade. All right, we're gonna move on to the lower lash line. I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics small crease brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade. And I'm gonna pop that along my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with that dark shade we were using with the Morphe M432. And I'm gonna push that shade up against my lower lash line. Back in with the small crease brush to blend that out. Alright, then I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with the shade here and this BH Cosmetics flat shader brush. That's not really enough for me, so I'm gonna go in with my highlighter, the Jeffree Star Sarcophagus, on the same brush, yeah. Bam! And I'm gonna do a little of that on my inner corner as well. All right, for mascara, I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I think I got this in a boxy charm, and I just never use it after that, so I thought I'd go in with it. Try out one more time. See if I like it. I haven't bought any makeup this month. I've just been so busy with my dad and helping my mom and trying to get to the rest of my life. I literally haven't even had time to shop online. I like something I... Oh, do you see it? Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's bad. Jesus, did that just flake off the mascara? Ew, ew, do you see it? What is happening? Did that just come off of the wand? Oh my god, it was on my eyelash, look at it. It was from my eyelash, it just like clumped on there. <laughs> I don't know, that was a mess. I think it looks a total mess. So that was rough. I don't like that mascara at all. But we're moving on. I am going in with some Ardell Wispies. I used to use these bad boys all the time. I'm gonna use a fresh pair. This is just a double pack. I'm super excited. I love the Wispies and the Demi Wispies and I just have not used them in a while. So we're gonna go in. I think that's about all I have going on in my life right now though. It's mostly my dad and then I finally got my car back and my anniversary. Very exciting. Got my best friend coming over tonight. We're gonna hang out, get some dinner. I'm excited. All right, we got our lashes on. I'm gonna move on to lips. I'm using a NYX lip liner in Peekaboo Natural. I used to use these lip liners all the time. I really like these lip liners. I think they're pretty creamy. They last a long time and they're really easy to sharpen. I feel like some lip liners don't sharpen very well and then you're kind of like, well, what's the point if it doesn't sharpen? And then you keep sharpening and sharpening and sharpening and it gets smaller and smaller and you're like, I haven't even used this yet. So I do actually really like these. They're cheap and they do have some decent colors. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips really quick. And I am gonna fill them in. So I feel like this is a little too pink for like the eye look, so I'm gonna use a little bit more of a peachy color. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Katsu in the shade Nudist Peach. Yeah. Just 
was a little too pink for the eyes. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I think it's so pretty. I love the peachy color. I'm really digging the eyeshadow color. This palette's really nice. I definitely have not used it very much, so I'm really glad I pulled it out of my drawer today. I also really am not minding the foundation. I think it looks really good. Um, I did kind of say that the Too Faced Born This Way concealer I've been using is better than the Tarte Shape Tape in my opinion. I feel like my skin looks kind of dry and the coverage was not as good as I normally have. Um, the Kat Von D palette, while it used to be a favorite, I definitely like the way the Tarte palette looks more. I feel like my skin just doesn't look as bronze as it like does when I use the Tarte palette and I feel like it looks a little bit patchy up here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, loving the highlighter, very pretty. The blush, very pretty. So I definitely think I pulled some great products out of my drawer that I have not used in a long time. I hope you enjoyed this little chatty tutorial style use makeup I haven't used in a while type of video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy bye.